Alrighty guys, welcome back to Boom Beach. Today we're taking on Dr. Terra at the start of a new three-day cycle. So that means it is a tropical island. So awkward still to look into a camera while you're playing the game instead of just straight down on my iPad, but I'll get used to it, no doubt. What I've got over here is all of our worries and when there's only one landing craft that's not up to level 20. So we are going to get him up to level 18, hopefully today. Now, unfortunately, I did record a little bit uh, before, but... I wasn't too happy with the previous recording, so what we're going to do is just show you the replays where I can talk a little bit more. So let's go view the first battle, and all of these ones are pretty simple, really. We've only got one cannon, but this cannon actually seems like it's a very high level. But thank you guys for all the support, especially yesterday. The Boom Beach Twitter um, tweeted out to my video yesterday, which actually was really nice, which was a nice birthday present because it was my birthday yesterday. So definitely a good way to top it off. Was very unexpected at that, but the Boom Beach uh, Twitter always seems to be very community orientated, so that was very nice. Stage one, already complete, very simple. So yeah, I did have a bit of a late night, and uh, I wasn't all that well aware of what was happening um, during my first couple of stages while I was playing, so I do apologize for that. Also, yesterday, it seemed like I did not choose the best path for uh, Colonel Gihart which was a shame. Seems like that shield just intimidated me way too much and I decided to take it down, but that wasn't even necessary. You could have just taken the shield down because there was so much, or such a big blind spot that it wasn't really too much of an issue, the shield. So that was very interesting to see people take it down without too many worries. All right, so now the stages are starting to get a little bit harder. We're up to stage three. What do we do over here? Destroy these supplies on the left and then we go on the right hand side, destroy a couple of these supplies with five boatloads it seems like. So yeah, it was a very nice uh, birthday present from Supercell tweeting out my video. The haters came out, we had a couple of dislikes more than usual. But I guess that's life, we are used to it. Yes, I do have another YouTube channel that I started off on YouTube and it's uh, a lot of fun. Just uh, YouTube, I'd recommend it to anyone recommend YouTube to anyone no matter what your interest is whether it's like makeup or makeup is really popular on YouTube and that's why I said it but like I don't know gaming whatever like soccer FIFA all that kind of stuff it's just grown so massively just social media in general all right so I should mention for stage four I've got no idea how I lost 32 warriors or so but somehow I did but look at this stage it had like 200,000 health from memory and there's three shock launchers. Thankfully, you can get these two over here with just um, one shock. But boy, oh boy, was this a difficult stage for me. I don't know why I failed as much as I did. guess I wouldn't really recommend this stage doing it like I did. But I think, looking back on it, I mean, I should have used a smoke a little bit further to the left just to protect our guys. But what I should have done is used a shock on these two shocks. And then I'm assuming a shock would have reached the machine gun and the, this shock launcher here. So I think that probably would have been much better. I mean, I'd have a couple of cannons still killing me. But I think I would have done it a little bit better. And somehow, there I lost 32 warriors. So, not sure how I lost 32. I did count and there was about 32 left or so. So, but... We lost them. All right, so now we're on to the live attacks, which is always great fun. Lots of maxed out machine guns, so it should be easy for tanks. Thankfully, these uh, machine guns are nowhere near the headquarters, though. All right, so I want to give this um, shock mine a little bit of a miss, though. I definitely don't want to attack it or run into it. Also, these mines all have different trigger ranges. So a normal mine has quite a large radius um, that you can attack it with. Whereas I've noticed the boom mine has a smaller radius. So let's see. Seems like to me that the shock mine has an even bigger trigger radius than, I'm assuming it's the circles, right? That are the trigger radiuses. I guess that'd be right because look, you can see the boom mine doesn't even reach this normal mine, whereas this normal mine reaches that boom mine. Okay, so that makes sense. And then it looks like, to me, the shock mine's even got a larger range by a little bit. Anyways, let's go attack. 
just these little things in the game that you do notice as you start playing a little bit more that mines have different trigger ranges and all of that stuff. But, alright, so what I'm going to do is not even double smoke the beach this time. How awfully brave of me. But I'm going to sort of offset this smoke. I probably should have smoked a little bit uh, better than that. That's alright, it'll do. It will do. And then just smoke our way onto the headquarters. Our guys run into one of the boom mines. Oh, and they trigger the shock mine. Okay. That's alright though. We lost two guys there, I'd say. Yeah, we did. So, shock once. And I can throw a couple of heals down just so we don't lose too many of our guys. Um, it's just rocket launchers that are able to pick us off, really. As long as you get these cannons, you won't really suffer too many losses. Even if you use a, um, if you path like mine, at least you guys will be able to figure out to destroy a couple of these mines here if you're all too worried. And, um, smoke a little bit better at the start than I did, that's for certain. Um, before we get into this stage, what I should do is, why didn't this not come up now? This button, there we go. You should comes up on the archipelago now. Alright, anyways. Let's get into stage numero 6 -o. All right. Um, I'm liking this bunker over here on the right. It's always important to like find an anchor point. Because that way you can actually avert all of the mines in the map. So, Headquarters has, what, 300,000 health? Yep. 304. Uh, but it should be a fairly simple stage. Um, destroy these two supplies maybe a little bit after once we've used them for their utilitarian need. Alright, so let's go and attack. We will have to double smoke the beach, of course. Beachhead is packed. So you know what? I can even throw down an artillery right now because we'll use that bunker. Okay. So now let's go smoke, smoke. Drop our guys. Smoke again on that rocket launcher. Just try to cover as much of a path up as you possibly can. Okay. Alright, that seems good. Right. And now we go straight onto the headquarters. I'll just use one more smoke. Oh, look at Supercell being cheeky. There was a boom mine hidden behind that um, sniper tower. Cheeky, cheeky. Alright. Let's get ready with two shocks. And we'll throw the rest of the heals down that we've got. And that should be it for this stage. Should be fairly simple. Without too many losses, hopefully. Those heals that are maxed out, they're level 21 now. They definitely help us out a lot. That's for certain. Alright, so that was stage 6 down. Let's see how we're doing. 8 minutes into the video. Definitely going to be a rather short video, actually. I guess when I show the replays, and that's what I'm thinking of doing, maybe just showing replays on the first couple of stages, I will start doing them live with um, much lower troops very, very shortly. I know I keep saying that, and I really need to get it going on with that, but I will be able to start uploading footage of my lower level account very, very shortly. Just a problem, because I'm not able to do it on... Um, an emulator like Blue Stacks or Andy or anything of the sort because it's against terms of service, so I can't be doing that stuff. All right, so 160 plus 200,000 health is what? Um, 360,000. So not all that much health, really. Let's see what else do we have around here. Just one shock launcher that I can see. There's a whole cluster of things over here. I guess the terror stages on the tropical island get very cramped up. Especially in the latter ones. Alright, so. Alright. We'll just have to figure out a path as we go along. Let's go try this uh, live without uh, upgrading our guys too much. This is probably really silly of me, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Alright, so. The way we're going to do this is... Double smoke the beach. And we'll go onto this flamethrower. Then onto this flamethrower. Probably could have kept my guys a little bit closer up, but thankfully I don't run into too much trouble. Alright, now I'll just tell my guys to go straight onto the headquarters, actually. 
Wow, that actually worked very, very well. All right, we'll get ready with one heal. We've got 85 gunboat energy as well, To just to remember that. All right, let's get ready with one, two, three shocks. Three shocks should be more than enough. It's just a waiting game at the moment. We've got this definitely in the bag. I mean, I'd be very shocked if we do fail. Although, let's see. Let's see. Are we creating enough damage? Oh, this is going to be very close. But we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Wow. That was definitely close. Very close. But I'm glad we managed to do all of that. Stages 5, 6, and 7 without too many editing. I mean, with the webcam, it's also a little bit um, more different. or more, Much more difficult, I'd say, to even uh, just make a video. Because you've got to sync everything up and all of that good stuff. But... That is how I take on Dr. Terror today on the 30th of October. I had to check the date there. But until next time, though, guys, thank you very much. We'll be back again tomorrow, of course, with the Volcano Island. So, I'll see you then.